perfect perfect with Gallo. There is just nothing more satisfying than getting that perfect perfect swing. This card is just straight up unfair. You know, I gotta say, I like the showdown mode. I think showdown is cool and all, but good lord, it can be infuriating. I mean, I kind of do it to myself. I just skip to the end. I don't even waste time playing the missions, and then I end up getting mad. I wonder why I get mad. Oh yeah, just score, f just score 16 runs off Verlander with 20 outs. That's easy to do, right? What's up, guys? I have completed the American League West showdown another two times because I have been on the grind for the 89 Joey Gallo. I I finally got him the showdown took me longer than I wanted to because I just I, it was tough man but it was all worth it in the end to get this Joey Gallo card face of the franchise right fielder he can play first third left and center the thing about Joey Gallo that makes him so great honestly is not his power I mean his power is amazing don't get me wrong but just all the things this guy can do the fact that you can have that bat and pretty much play him at like any position you want really makes him so so valuable. He's got 99 arm strength, 86 fielding, 97 arm accuracy. He's even got 64 speed. So you could realistically get away with having Joey Gallo in center field. A guy who's 6'5, 235 can run and field the way he can and swing that stick. Unreal card overall. I got this Joey Gallo in the same exact way that I got the Shohei Otani. All you do is you go to the team affinity for the Texas Rangers. I went ahead and completed the Texas Rangers collection to give me 10 program stars and then from there I basically needed to do the American League West showdown two times. I know I showed this exact same formula in my Otani video but still a lot of people are asking all you do is you enter the American League West showdown you either play through it or you skip to the end whatever but basically once you beat it you can see the rewards right there you get five team affinity vouchers for an AL West showdown and once you beat the showdown you go over to the team affinity and then you can exchange those vouchers in the missions tab right here. You can exchange all five of them. They're four points apiece. So if you beat the showdown, you're getting 20 points towards each team affinity. Well, you're getting 20 points if you decide to use all five vouchers for that team. And the thing is, it's repeatable. You can do this as many times as you want. So that's how I got Joey Gallo. You guys can see I got him over here in right field for this video. In the middle infield, I made a little change. I put Mike Moustakis at second base. I want to see how he does. I mean, we're still playing on fairly low difficulties and a power bat like him would be really nice to have we've also got the Gary Sanchez player of the month card from 2017 in here this dude is insane 100 power on both sides with 80 arm strength 70 blocking he's not gonna be fantastic behind the dish but I mean at this point in the year all you're really looking for is power bats by the way you get that Gary Sanchez from hitting level 40 in the XP reward path you get to take it in that classic cards pack I think for the pitching today we're gonna go ahead and start the 88 over Overall, Greg Maddox. I want to use this guy. I've already used John Smoltz. Loved his card. He was really, really good. I'm going to try to get Otani's energy back, so I'm not going to use him today. But we also ended up getting the 93 Dennis Eckersley. On the live stream yesterday, we ended up grinding the Dennis Eckersley moments and then finishing up the exchange or whatever it was to get the 93 overall. He does only have three pitches, but at this point in the year, you need to try to get any pitcher that's relatively good because hitting is so easy right now that you need to kind of have anything you can to combat it so I wanted to go after Eckers Eckersley right away but that's the squad for today's video guys we're gonna get this Joey Gallo in a game and I hope that this man hits 18 home runs also if you enjoy the video feel free to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe to the channel we got MLB the show 20 content every single day hopefully you guys enjoy let's play all right what do we got here Greg Maddox versus Greg Maddox uh it looks like my team is just slightly better than his I actually just realized I need to move my camera because the scoreboard is gonna be in the bottom Right. All right, looks like I'm gonna be right here because the scoreboard's in the bottom right hand corner So this is where I'm gonna be all year I'm also playing at the new Texas Stadium Globe Life Field just because we're using Joey Gallo Let's see him in his home ballpark There we go. That should be an easy enough play for Trouty getting that leadoff guy out. It's always huge Here we go That'll be the second out easy play Moustakis nice Jose Altuve was making a few errors at second base I wasn't loving him defensively and you know I kind of want power at this point in the game so I didn't have a problem taking him out for Moustakis Ooh, I am surprised that that was not hit better all right one two three inning for Maddox there we go 
That's going to be a leadoff hit. Oh my god, Mike Trout's really going to hit and do a double play. I still hit that 104 miles an hour. All right, I believe this brings up Joey Gallo. Yep, here we go. Face of the franchise, Gallo. Oh, yep, that's gone. Perfect, perfect with Gallo. Adios. There is just nothing more satisfying than getting that perfect, perfect swing. Pete Alonzo, that's going to be a base hit. Let's go. Back-to-back -back hits. Ah, oh, I was going for three straight hits. Weak contact, though. Hey, I'll take that run. Joey Gallo does exactly what he's supposed to do. As we get into the second inning here, I want to let you guys know I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight, twitch.tv slash kooks46. I'm going to be playing Pack Wars, which I'm not exactly sure what the rules are, but I believe I'll be starting my stream at around 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific. That ball was destroyed by Rizzo. But yeah, I'm going to be live about 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. I think we're going to start the Pack Wars at 5. It's going to be with Daddy Dimu TV, Scuffy McGee, and Clutch. And it should be a really good time. We're going to squad stream, open up some packs, have a good time. So if you guys want to come through on the uh, Twitch stream tonight, twitch.tv slash kooks46, come on by. Oh my god, that's another good swing. All right. My team may be better, but this guy is just hitting better than me so far. Nice, that's a perfect, perfect. We got Tatis on base again. He's two for two. Another perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. Two perfect, perfects in a row, and it brings up the man of the hour. Oh, you can't throw that to Joey Gallo. Three straight perfect perfects let's go the dude is showing up in his debut man four runs batted in he is responsible for the entire offense right now ball four pete alonzo on the bases now we got a good thing going here in this inning oh man oh he bobbled it a little bit 67 speed he's not gonna get the double play all right Oh, yes, that's going to get down. Come on, 67 speed. He's just now going around second. He's not going to score. All right, second and third, two outs. Come on, Gary, player of the month, Gary. Oh, my God, he hit that so hard. It gets over his head. Let's go. The boys are showing up today. Oh, he got hosed at second. Well, we got the runs. Top five. I'm really liking what Greg Maddox is doing for me right now. I love his sinker as the primary pitch. And then mixing in that off speed. He... he not bad at all. By the way, in the comments of this video, let me know what pitchers are you guys liking right now. I've been so focused on getting these new hitters that, like, I haven't really focused too much on pitching. He, I, he actually made really good contact on that for where that location was. So far, all the pitchers I've used, I've really liked. Granted, this is on lower difficulties, and we're not playing, like, super great teams yet. But, I mean, with what I've seen, I like the guys in my rotation. Oh, and I got a yellow throw. I might have got him, too. It would have been close. Yeah, he likes that inside cutter. I just got to keep trying to uh, set up that pitch. Bottom five, we got the big boys coming up against Rob Nen. Is this the silver Rob Nen? Oof, man, this is... Oh, this is ugly. All right, here he is again, boys. Joey Gallo. Are we going to keep the streak alive? Come on, we got to hit a third homer. Perfect, perfect, all three times with Joey Gallo, dude. This card is just straight up unfair. I'm really excited to face better pitchers and, like, go on higher difficulties to see just how actually good this card can be. Because right now, this is just like padding the stats. No, I missed it. I wanted to go for the dive with Gallo and make an electric play. Ah, man. I really wanted Gallo to show out. I didn't really have the best angle on that. I should have been smart and just let that drop and try to throw to second base or something. But, man, that would have been so dope in his debut to make that play. Nice. That's huge. Second out now. Nice. Fly ball to right field. Gallo, you don't need to die for this one, bud. Dude, let's go. Seven good innings from Greg Maddox. Joey Gallo is destroying the ball. You couldn't ask for a better gameplay here. Mike Trout, perfect, perfect with two outs. We're going to get Joey Gallo up here with a two-out opportunity. He's got to keep the streak alive. He's three for three with three home runs. All three of them are perfect swings. 3-1. 
Nice pitch. That's a good spot to Gallo. All right, full count. Let's go. Oh, man. Well, we stayed perfect technically. It's okay. Don't worry. Pete Alonzo will make up for it, Joey. We got 10 runs. Am I actually going to get on base here? <laughs> Greg Maddox, he's going to get that run in. I believe that's the end of the game, isn't it? Because I'm up by 10 now. That's the mercy, isn't it? Yep. Greg Maddox technically just hit a walk-off. <laughs> to nobody's surprise, Joey Gallo, the player of the game. Three for three, three home runs, five runs batted in. He scored four times, and he drew a walk. Hey, man, my last two debuts, I know they've been on lower difficulties, but yo... These face of the franchise cards are just sick. So basically, yeah, you should get your hands on this Joey Gallo card whenever you can because you need that power in your lineup. He's also fantastic in the field. He's everything you could want in a card, especially at this point in the year. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that a lot. Down in the comments, let me know what pictures you're using. Let me know who you're liking right now, who's in your rotation. Also, subscribe to the channel. We got gameplays, tip videos, everything coming to the channel every single day. So make sure you guys stick around and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, though. I will see you in the next one. Peace.